Hey guys, I'm back. I'm just making like 2 billion YouTube videos today. So it's fine, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to be doing a Funko Pop collection update. Because I've gotten a few more since Barbie. <laughs> oh, I forgot Barbie. Wait. Barbie. <laughs> I have to resort these now. Oh my gosh. I'm a bad person. Okay? I'm sorry. Better. Okay, I'm done now. Okay, we're good. Anyway, I'm going to be doing an updated collection because I've gotten a few more since Barbie. Like this guy, who we're gonna get to later. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna be doing them in my favorite to my least favorite. My least favorite does not mean I don't like it. I still really like it. I love it. But it is just not my favorite compared to all of my other ones. Make sense? Makes sense. So please don't be like spamming me in the comments being like, I love it. Why do you hate it? I don't hate it. I like it. I just don't like it as much as I like the other ones. Capiche? Okay. So first we're going to start with this one. This is Baby Hercules from Hercules. I got it for my birthday and I love it so much. This is one of my newer ones because my birthday was only a month ago. So he's very cute. The detailing on the hair. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Hercules, but he has the little necklace and the lightning bolt and the hair and the diaper with his diaper. But I really like that they added that because it's like the little medallion thing. So, I really like this one. This, this one's probably one of my favorites. And, like, they brought the... I don't even know if you can see that, but they brought the um, strap all the way around his neck, which is really pretty. And he's so cute. I love him. But anyway, that's number one. I have 16. So, buckle in, my friends. This one, it's Mini Jet Puff Marshmallow Man with Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Scoop. I bought this one, like, four hours ago. Not even. What time is it? It's like 2 o'clock. I bought it like an hour ago. Um, so this is, I, it's an original, to, it's like a exclusive Baskin Robbins Funko Pop. Um, and it's from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife, which, really good. You should go see it. It's, mm, I love McKenna Grace. She's in it and I love her so much. I've been told that I look like McKenna Grace, which I'm not complaining. McKenna Grace is beautiful, so, you know. But, Oh, I love it. It says Baskin Robbins on the spoon. It has the little, like, tassel. The Jet Puff Marshmallow Man is, like, the cutest. Or muncher. But, yeah. So, I really like it. It I don't, I don't even know if you can see it, but it says Baskin Robbins on the spoon. He has a little mint chip ice cream. Obviously, a stand. He's top heavy. He's really top heavy. So, there's that. Um, so, that was second. This one is third. This is Carl from Up. I got it for my birthday from one of my best friends. And he has a little walker with the tennis balls. The only thing I don't like is his nose looks a little bit discolored compared to the rest of his body. I don't even know if you can tell, but it looks a little weird. But I really like this one. He has a little grape soda pin right there. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is like the nose. It looks a little bit discolored, but they got like the frames of the glasses are like really nice he has like a little belt buckle and the pin and the bow tie the bow tie is important okay i don't care what you say it's very important the walker although i wish they would have only put three tennis balls because that would have been funny but there's that one i've decided if i spend like a minute on each i'll be good <laughs> so the next one Queen of Hearts. This one is one of my more expensive ones. This one cost me like $26, which I know is like not that bad, but you know. So Queen of Hearts, she has like the little, like I love her dress. It's so pretty. And her hair is like, whoa, like it's like an inch tall. It's like an inch. Did you know that's an inch? Approximately. I do that all the time. But like she has like a little crown and she has a flamingo, but you know, as the croquet mallet, but you know what they used as the ball? I could go on about this one. It's, so this is three inches, right? This is like a half inch, quarter inch, maybe. And it's so tiny. Look at the little smile. It's smiling. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's smiling and it's cute. And like the nose is like pink. It's so cute. I love it. Ugh. And the ears. I don't even know. It's really tiny. Like if my hand, my hand, I have a big hand. It's tiny. Look at that. 
he's a he's a, he's a good 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 time okay anyway that's about yeah that's good that took a bit more than I needed to do. okay so next one is emily from corpse ride this one is such a special one in my heart look at the eyeballs and like you have the deterioration if that's a word on the like jawbone and you have around like the um like bra you have the like ribs and um like the veil like honestly i love corpse bride it's probably one of my favorite tim burton movies Coraline is my favorite though i would argue with you about that and she has like her hand is like a skeleton she has a bouquet and her hair is just so pretty i appreciate so much the detailing on funko pops you can see the hair under the veil which is so nice but yeah i really like that one a lot so <laughs> she's very beautiful emily we love you even if it turned out that way okay next one king candy from Candyland. this one is my heaviest probably maybe this one but we'll get to that later but this one is king candy this one i wanted for so long and i finally got it but he has like a little pink mustache and eyebrows and this thing and his head looks like a muffin and he has little ice cream cones and feet he has feet that's a good thing his like thing is made out of like jaffa cakes which is kind of fun his sleeves look like little raspberries which is interesting and he, look at his little nose it's like a little button nose and it's so cute and he has like peppermint and chocolate and I can't explain. It's it's fine. And like the cape, it like looks like it's moving, which is so much fun. But he's very cute. I I like him a lot. I'm just awkwardly staring at him on video. It's fine, but he's very cute. Next we have Katniss Everdeen <laughs> in wedding dress. So this is like in the second movie when she's like about to get married and whatnot. Married, quote unquote. She has like little feathers, like mocking mocking jay feathers. Um the detailing on her hair is divine, honestly. This is one of the first ones I ever bought. Look at the little silver stuff on her dress. It's so pretty. And the ruffles and the... My dad jokes that it's like the kill count. It's not. She's just gorgeous, okay? But, like, appreciate the detailing on the hair. Like, it's so freaking beautiful. And, like, you can see, like, the little bit of blush and eyeshadow that she has. It's so pretty. And her arms are, like, really thin, which is fun, you know, about that, okay. I don't even know if you guys can see, but she has a little flower right there. And it's so pretty, the ruffles. This one, they don't even sell anymore. So it's, like, $40. It's really, I bought it for, like, 8 <laughs> So, you know, that's a good investment. And the earrings! I forgot about the earrings! Okay, there's that. Next, this is the eighth one. Maleficent from Maleficent. You have to love this. Look at her cheekbones, like, alone. I can't even get the right angle to show how pointy they are. This is also one of my only ones that has, like, lips. That are, like, just lips. Like, obviously, this one has, like, a mouth. But it's, like, carved into the, it. And, like, I guess this one, like, this one has lips, but they're, like, like on there. This one's just, like, painted. I have, like, two like that, but, like, you know. But... She has, like, the little thing right there. And the horns are beautiful. And the wings are even more beautiful. Like, look at those beautiful wings. If you haven't seen this movie, you should go watch it. Because it's amazing. And I love it. I filmed the second one. But I don't know how I feel that they made a second one. So, you know. Oh, she has the staff, too. So, there's that. Next, we have Peter Pan. This is Peter Pan number two. I have another one. But it's Peter Pan and the Pirate Ship Ride from Disney World. This is the 65th. Or this is the... Yeah, 65th Disney anniversary, Peter Pan. Um, Because we went to Disney World last month. So I got this in Disney World. And the feather is, I don't, I can't even appreciate how much the feather has detailed. And like his shirt is like really detailed. The, the, the like fog around the boat is really nice. The back of the boat is amazing. Let me flip it around. The back of the boat is really pretty and this is one of the like ride ones so they only made a few they made like this one they made the Minnie Mouse one on Dumbo and they made the Donald Duck on the Matterhorn for the Disney World and then they also made um the Yeti on the Matterhorn for Disneyland's 70th I think is what it was so 
And he has like his arm out and his hand is so nicely sculpted and it's beautiful. Anyways, there's that. Next, this is number nine, I think. We're halfway through it. Um, you have Blue from uh, Jurassic World. So this one is the first one that I've ever bought that is not human, like humanoid. Because like this one, like this one isn't quite humanoid, but like all of them, like even like this one, I'm not gonna show you. Like even though Maleficent's not human, she's a fairy. But like she is still, you know, you get you get. But this was like a dinosaur. So I love the shading around his like body. It's really pretty. And the detailing around the mouth. So like that. And you can see the tongue goes all the way back into there, or at least as far as you can see. Um, you have the lining on the back of the head. It's really pretty. The stomach is a different color too, which is nice. So yeah, I really like that one. That one's one of my newer ones too. I bought it last night, last not last night, last month. This one, Miss Peregrine from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I love her hair. The blue is like the vibe. Okay, the like dark eyeshadow. She has a crossbow. She has these fancy like blue boots that are really pretty. Um, you can kind of see, but she has like a pocket watch like coming out of her jacket. I don't know, even know if you can see that. But her eyelashes are like spot on. The hair is like swooped. She has some blue hair. Um, yeah. There you even have like the laces. I don't even know if you can see them, but there are laces on the shoes. She has a crossbow. She's cool. But then you also have this. I've argued with my sister if this is a falcon or a peregrine. I think it's a peregrine because she can like transform. At least in the book. I haven't watched the movie, but in the book she can. And you have, like, the little wings. They're shaded as well. Don't worry. Um, this is Peregrine. It's a Peregrine. So, it has, like, the little beak. Look at the little tiny feet. They're cute. Okay, they're fine. And even it has, like, little tiny eyelashes. Do you see that? Ah. But anyway, there's that. And they're beautiful. Okay. So, next, this is ten, right? One, two, three, four, eleven. This is Peter Pan. This is an old Peter Pan. Like, the eyes have gotten bigger and closer together, like, comparison. But, yeah. So, they've gotten better over the years, but this one I bought in, like, 2017. So, you're a child. But, anyway. 2017, I was nine. I'm a... I'm old. Oh, my gosh. But, anyway. You have that. You have... The hair isn't, like, it's kind of flat, which is why it's so far down the list. But the thing that puts it high up there is a stand. It's glittery, and it makes it look like he's flying. But, like, his boots have pretty good detail on them. The hat is, like, rumpled a little bit. The feather has pretty good detail compared to some of the other older ones. And the belt. And he has a dagger, I think, too. Somewhere? No, I guess not. But this one is older. I got this when I was, like, nine, so it's older. But anyway, 12 is Emma Bloom. So, that one, I don't know. This one's just, I really love it, but it's just really plain. I do like the flower in her hair, though, and her dress, and her watch. And look at how spicy those boots are. They're fun. They look like something my best friend would wear. She's probably watching this video. Hi, Ari. Flower. You got the blush. The blush is really far down though. And those eyelashes are so spicy and they're really long. That's what I like about this one. Is the eyelashes go all the way around. You had your turn. Anyway, she's pretty. I like her designing and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. Next we have Killer Frost from The Flash. If you don't know me, I am obsessed with The Flash. So I have like two from The Flash. But she's pretty. I This is the only one I've ever ordered online. The others I've bought in store. Pretty much. Yeah. I think all of them I've bought in a store. Except this one. Because this one was pre-order. And I knew it was going to sell out really quickly. So I have like one of the first ones ever made. 
um but she has a little like lining on her jacket and she has the season five suit season six five or six um and she has little icicles the hair lining is just so bomb it's so gorgeous and the eyeballs are white obviously if you ever watch the flash and you're not super photo sensitive it's really good you should watch it but i really like the icicles that she has Yawning. I'm tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Next, you have Barbie. Barbie. So, this is day to night Barbie. She has the little business coat and the hat. I have this Barbie that my mom gave me. Like, the actual Barbie. She has the little pearl earrings that are really fun. The blue eyeshadow is a vibe. The hat is beautiful. The jacket and the all of it is beautiful. She has a phone. Which is... Oh, it's not a phone. It's a calculator. I'm so stupid. Of course it's not a phone. This was made in the 80s. Obviously. Um, anyway, there's that. You're beautiful. Also one of the only ones I have with painted lips. Like, they're not... You know. Then you have... Jay Garrick. Also from The Flash. He's like the other Flash. So he has like little things on his helmet. He has like a bowl. It's like a bowl, you guys. And, like, again, I really do like this one. It was my first flash one I ever got. But it's just, like, not that special. Um, he has a little lightning bolt on his chest. The gloves are really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Like, really fun. So there's that. And then, last but not least, definitely not least, I still love you. <laughs> Matterhorn Yeti. So this one, I don't know, it's just not my favorite, but I really like the actual Funko Pop, but this is made of a different plastic, which I don't like at all. Like, this base part is made of, like, plastic plastic. This is, like, not plastic plastic. Like, I wish they were made of, like, this material um, instead of, like, the cheap plastic that you drill screws into. But it says Matterhorn Disneyland on it. Again, the detailing on the Yeti is really pretty. His mouth is like the it's the, edi the editing, the like design on it is really nice. Um, has like the lines on it. Um, fair warning, I have never ridden the Matterhorn because I've never been to Disneyland, but it does have like a seat behind it. I want to ride the Matterhorn, but you know, it's really nice. So has like the snow caps on the mountain train track. Also, comment if you've ever ridden the Matterhorn, because I really want to ride it so at some point. Tell me if you liked it. So, yeah, that's it. That's all my Funko Pops for you. Updated version. Again, I am still recovering from buying this one, because look at how cute. I'm obsessed. You deserve the world, honey bun. Um, but, yeah, he's really cute. There are, like, eight of them, and one of them is, like, on fire. And one of them is holding a lighter. And one of them is in a cappuccino. And one of them has been, like, tasered. And it has, like, a hole in the center. It's so cute. But this one was a exclusive Baskin-Robbins original Funko Pop. So there's that. I'm fangirling over that. Because I just bought it, like, not that long ago. So excited about it. I'm tired. Anyway. And yeah, if you are wondering what I do with my Funko Pops, I don't just leave them on the shelf. I, you're gonna flip over, buddy. This creepy. Um, I have my bookshelf, like, color-coded, and I put each one with, like, a certain color. It's so, like, the square with all my black books is, like, this one. And, like, I have, like, three squares of blue books, so, like, she's two. So she's on the darker one, and she's on the lighter one. And then the ones that I don't have, because I only have nine squares and I have 16 Funko Pops, go up top by a hat rack um and so they go up top on my hat rack so there's that like most of these go up on my hat rack except the ones that are like super colorful like this one's up like this one's on my shelf this one's on my rack this one's on my shelf this one's on my rack just because i just bought it and i didn't have room for it on my bookshelf at the moment I might switch it out, though, with my Katniss Everdeen one and put that one up there. But I don't have the box for that one, so yeah. Anyway, 
Thank you guys for giving me 20 minutes of your time to watch me ramble about Funko Pops. Anyway, I would say like and subscribe, but I don't really care if you like and subscribe. I'm not doing this for you, I'm doing it for me. You guys are probably annoyed with that now, but it's true. Anyway, thank you. Bye.